Already, this oil spill is the worst environmental disaster America has ever faced. We cannot rest, and we will not rest, until BP permanently seals the wellhead and until they clean up every drop of oil. We've got essentially an Army, a Navy, and an Air Force mobilized here. We've got 25,000 people working on this spill today. You know, I had all this stuff. I got all these cases. You know, a lot of people will talk schmack about their cases or whatever it is, you know. And we were directly affected by the chemicals. We were directly sprayed by the chemicals. When we leaned over the bow of our boat and picked up oil-filled pom-poms and absorbent pads and filled them into bags, we were saturated with oil from one end to the other. My boat was saturated with oil from one end to the other. We were told by BP that it was as safe as Dawn dish soap. Now it's close up to eight pages. I have asthma attacks doing basic, minor, small things now. I'm not sure where I'm at. I'm not sure what's going to happen, but I am sure I haven't seen the end of it. It, it, feels, it feels like you have a real heavy chest at times, breathing gets difficult. Uh, it's kind of like you have a, a, a cold all the time. And I was told that the case was closed and they didn't, didn't see where there was any liability at all as far as I was concerned. You still have to be able to show that it was more likely than not that that exposure that you had as either a cleanup worker or a resident that lived on the coast uh, it was uh, the their disease was caused by their exposure to the BP chemicals. I mean, honestly, when you look at the stations they had where they monitored air, they were so far apart. They very rarely reported what came out of it. The government didn't make them do it. You know, I mean, there's just so many parties that are responsible for letting these defendants wreak havoc on our society, on the environment, on people who are exposed to it.